I was a slave until I died. Then I was reborn a god, Shazam. The real challenge of this film was how to make Black Adam fly without him looking like the, the typical action movies. Wanted to try something different, something unique. I am so deeply passionate. I'm passionate about everything I do, but Black Adam is special. We knew that Jama's expectations for Black Adam was gonna be very, very high. Everyone was gonna have to deliver in a real and meaningful way. We knew we wanted to surround Jama with the best of the best. Starting with uh, special effects supervisor, J.D. Schwamm. He won an Oscar for First Man. He is a tech genius. Every movie he finds a way to build something, create something from scratch. He's MacGyver times a thousand. No, The whole concept was Black Adam is like a heavenly being. He's like a god. His power is always present, and Jama wanted to have him just float. He wouldn't want to waste energy on walking or stepping, so he wanted to have him hovering and floating to, to establish a, you know, a really big, powerful presence. Dwayne is playing those powers as if they are second nature. When bullets fly at him, they're just bouncing off his suit. When he's flying, he's not even thinking about it. He's just a god. We wanted to try and incorporate as much technology as we could into it uh, to make it fast and easy for DJ to get in and out. We talked a lot about not using harnesses, some type of rig that could grab him and hold him and lift him to, to, to you know extreme heights, but safely. JD was able to come up with this amazing giant robotic arm that he bought, I believe, from like a car factory or something. And DJ could just sit right on that, and it allows to do these amazing, seamless, smooth takeoffs, lowers, hovering around. Whenever there's a shot with a robotic move, I send my team in and we do a 3D scan of the set. We load that scan into our animation program and then my team of animators animates the move. JD created this other platform that Dwayne is on that, that has 360 degree wheels that moves Dwayne around the set. I was watching a 60 Minutes episode on robotics and they showed these carts that had these omnidirectional wheels on it and decided right then and there that that was, that was the method we were gonna take. Each cart's got four omnidirectional wheels. A little cart can either go forward, backward, left, right. It can spin on its center point. There are endless amount of gadgets that JD has designed and built and brought to this movie and given JAMA so many great opportunities to create our own vibe, look, and energy. We've been really lucky. Dwayne is a great guy for uh, a special effects coordinator like myself to work for. You know, he's always trying to do something a little different and a little exciting on all of his movies to, to make them stand out. Jalma is truly doing things that have never been done before in a superhero movie. And to see this hero just kind of glide around was incredible. You better not drop those prisoners. I'm not going to drop them. I'm going to drop one of them.